note to myself during editing. Um, this is the clip that goes into the electronics section, just so I know. All right, um, circuit protection. How do you protect this thing? Because we didn't, we've done another, we'll do another video on radiation where you can get SCR latch up, which is uh, like probably the worst possible condition. How's it fused? Do you have resettable fuses? Do you, uh, how quickly, how do you deal with latch up? Yeah, so uh, for example, with, tell us. Yeah, for, with, with latch up, for example, there are some um, pretty nice chips which uh, which can actually completely deal with it. So. Uh, oh, are they? Yeah. Um, what is it, uh, FD2020, for example? What, oh, 20? okay. Something like this. Right, so you've got um, some dedicated hardware in there to yeah, prevent so, SCR latch-up. Yeah, so those are um, uh, those are really um, kind of useful for uh, detecting um, high transients beyond High your, transient spikes, because yeah. that's what SCR latch-up will do. It basically shorts out your rail, if you don't yeah. know, shorts out your voltage rail, so you'll get this large spike that is not part of normal yeah, so the thing is that, yeah, yeah. it's really, for example, the, the ship is really nice. It's uh, actually, um, uh, it, it waits for, what was it like, I think one millisecond and right. uh, and then it... Uh, it, it kills power yeah. straight away. Yeah. Yep. So but that's, that's pretty neat, for example. bypassing, pain in the ass, because bypassing on your power supply, you've switched off your power. If you've got a lot of bypassing there, there's a lot of energy stored in those caps. They can still continue to dump the energy. Yeah, so but where, do, where do you put these chips? Do you put them after the bypassing? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly. Otherwise, you're yeah, 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 no, no. <laughs> you're, yeah. Trap for young players, folks. Don't put your bypass <laughs> in after you. Yep. Yeah, okay. no, no, you have to do that. Yeah, but right. it's uh, it's also um, you know uh, pulling it to to a crown, so not just uh, letting oh, it float. Oh, okay. Oh, but, it pulls uh, it. it yeah. Right. Got it. So it protects it that way. What about just general fusing? Yeah, that's resettable uh, poly switches, all that. Yeah, sort so of jazz. so we we did some experimentation with um, with uh, poly switches uh, mm. in in the in the past, for example, for our motors, and that wasn't the best idea. Um, why why not? Do tell. Uh, yeah, because the thing is that um, you know when you're driving motors, then the, the spikes are significantly higher than you expect, and uh, so if you if you apply your uh, voltage meter and you look at the uh, the current, and you say it's like. Oh, okay. This is just about one amp, so I will take a three amp fuse, and then you're like, it's kicked in uh, unexpectedly. Let's unexpectedly, put it this way. yeah. Transients are a big problem. Measuring yes. your current transients can yes. you need specialized test gear to do it. Yes, you can't yes, just yes, you yeah. know, f whacking your amp meter and you know, hope yeah. it goes up there. Even an analog one, which you, you know, your needle can't move fast enough to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this yeah. is how I cut my microcurrent. It's, uh, right, <laughs> and it's even it's not fast enough sometimes. Five hundred yeah, kilohertz, yeah. three hundred kilohertz bandwidth. You know, sometimes you can get really short current spikes that can really yep. ruin your day. Yeah, so but, we're running yeah. at the uh, <laughs> pulse width modulation frequency of about uh, sixty-four kilohertz uh, right. with the with the motors. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Is that synchronous to anything else so you don't get radio no. interference and stuff like that? No, you just don't care because yeah. the motor controllers are out here and you don't care. This is uh, this is one of the significant advantages of having them outside it's here. Physically you know. separate. So, you know, the thing yep. is that this is aluminum, so it's really well sheeted. And, uh, yeah, this makes it uh, much right. easier. Question <coughs> really is um, it's about um, which parts do you want to shut off? So where you have right. to, you know... Um, if something goes wrong, what is your what is your failure state? You know, you don't want to kill everything. You don't want to kill your radio. Yeah, you know, exactly. If, you're, example, if, you're, if a one motor goes, you don't want to kill your radio. You want to be able to still exactly. So yeah, right? when, yeah, so this yeah, is yeah. this is for example the, one of the questions that you are, that you have to deal with when you're saying okay, the, um, let's make three CPUs. For example, for the lender, you know, this uh, you might think that oh, let's the, for the the ones that is uh, controlling the engines. We definitely need to have uh, three of them, mm. and um, then you realize this gets really tricky because if you just do you know majority voting of the signal that uh, controls the pulses for the thrusters, for example, um, they might be shorter than what you need. So um, this is where where it gets uh, where adding redundancy gets very tricky, and you need to right. deal with all the failure states. And so for at some points, we just say. Okay, for example, with the thrusters, we just have one single board computer that does the control of all the thrusters. Right. And it's a okay. single point of failure, yep. and uh, we are accepting it because we, can, we don't have the energy, en engineering capacity and the energy and to do it uh, the easier way. So it was, a case of, it was a case of rover first, worry about lander second. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. it was? Essentially, yeah. yeah. yeah right. you know, the thing is that um, 
The rover is uh, is very easy to test. You can take mm. it to a playground. Yeah, it's it's yeah. very easy. But yeah. uh, with a lander, it's uh, it's really hard to, um, to test it because uh, the mm. the thrusters that you have don't actually work on Earth uh, in a, in a, an course. oxygen environment. They yep. are made for vacuum, and uh, they don't have the ability to lift the lander um, at uh, at a one g gravity. They are designed uh, to provide uh, enough course. lift for uh, yep. one six gravity. <laughs> so. All of that together uh, makes uh, developing the lender a pretty big challenge that we wanted to address uh, in the latest part where we went, where we were sure what the requirements are. And you've got solid funding to. Oh yeah, you know, and the funding you know, is also interesting. Because landing's a lander is not sexy. Nobody, you know, oh, but look, we've got our oh, lander. Oh, it's, it's, it's uh, kind you of know, sexy. Got, oh, like, you know, but come on, you can't sell <laughs> that to Audi. They don't want to land up. <laughs> no, nah, give us the rover. We want our logo on a rover, you know. So yeah, the excellent. rover is, uh, is something that people can uh, relate yeah, more they to. They can they can relate more to it. It's better and it's fun. Come on, the rover's more fun than the lander. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>